What is the daily meeting? George Fox, the founder of Friends, was distraught about his spiritual condition and not being able to find anyone that could speak to it. In despair, he went to a field with his book of scripture, sat in, in silent prayer, and out of that silence, the Spirit guided him through his despair and restored his hope. Allow the scripture to lead you in prayer. Listen to the words, and in the silence, let them flow to your core. Allow the Spirit of God to speak, examine, and guide you. Psalm 119, verses 9 through 16. How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the rules of your mouth. In the way of your testimonies I delight, as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts, and fix my eyes upon your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word.
Isaiah chapter 44, verses 1 through 8. But now hear, O Jacob, my servant, Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus says the Lord who made you, who formed you from the womb, and will help you. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water on the thirsty land, and streams on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon your offspring, and my blessing on your descendants. They shall spring up among the grass, like willows by flowing streams. This one will say, I am the Lord's. Another will call on the name of Jacob, and another will write on his hand, The Lord's and name himself by the name of Israel. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last. Besides me there is no God. Who is like me? Let him proclaim it. Let him declare and set it before me. Since I appoint, appointed an ancient people, let them declare what is to come. And what will happen? Fear not, nor be afraid. I Have I not told you from of old, and declared it? And you are my witnesses. Is there a God besides me? There is no rock. I know not any. Query. Fear not is mentioned a couple of times in this passage, and that there is none like God. Consider our world today. How often do various media sources encourage us to fear? In what way does this passage encourage a change in our perspectives? Acts chapter 2, verses 14 through 24. But Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea, and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and give ear to my words. For these people are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was uttered through the prophet Joel. And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even on my male servants and female servants in those days I will pour out my Spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in the heavens above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the day of the Lord comes, that great and magnificent day. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God, with mighty works and wonders and signs that God did through him in your midst. As you yourselves know, this Jesus delivered up according to the def definite 
plan, and foreknowledge of God. You crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. God raised him up, losing, loosening the pangs of death, because it was not possible for him to be held by it. Query. What an exciting image this passage can create in our minds. Imagine the excitement and the confusion of the scene as Peter began to speak. When we are faced with confusing expressions of faith, are we willing to listen and allow the Spirit to guide us to the truth? Heavenly Father, we live in a culture of fear. Fear dominates so much of our lives, yet you encourage us not to let fear dominate our lives. 
because perfect love casts out fear. As we th see things that confuse and disturb our spirit, let us rest in your spirit. Let us allow you to guide us through to the truth so that we will not fear and will instead embrace others with your love and grace. In the name of Christ, amen.